easy way of finding the middle of the rope is to fold the rope in half, you see. And if you go to the other end, that should be the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the rope right there. Okay, that's about the middle, right? Would you agree? Yes. Should be two even pieces. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss somewhere. Would you mind very much if I try to deliver again? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, before I cut the rope in let me tie the ends together. Okay. First. Okay, now, you all know what Wuffle Dust is? Yes. No. What is Wuffle Dust? Can anyone tell me what Wuffle Dust is? Yes. Wake up. Right, it's magic dust that they use to put magicians in their pockets. And what happens when I open the door? If the magician uses Wuffle Dust on a cut root, it restores it to one piece of wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Again, I don't like these little fuzzy pieces. Okay, now, let me see if I can do something else. All right, let's see. Let's cut the rope with two slices. So now we should have, yes, one, two, three even-sized ropes. Now watch what happens if the magician reaches into his right pocket. It, instead of his left and produces some ripple dust. That's what watch what happens to those ropes right there. They then turn into a small rope, a medium rope, and a long rope. Now my last audience didn't quite get this. Let me see if I can explain it better. Do you know why these ropes are different sizes? Why? This rope right here, you see the ends? They're closer together than say the ends of the medium sized rope. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you know why this is the longest rope? Because the distance between this end of the long rope and this end of the long rope is even longer than the medium rope and even longer than the short rope. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Yes. <laughs> no, so okay, I'll finish. Now if I take this long rope and the medium rope and the long rope, now watch what happens if I put the ends together. You're never gonna believe what happens. If the ends go together, they're all the same distance apart from each other. So by that reckoning. All the ropes should be the same size. Wow. Yeah. So we should have one. Thank you very much. I'm not going to use this rope yet. I'm going to take these two ropes and tie them together. Okay. Right. One more thing. There, I've got two ropes tied together there. I'm going to take this last rope and tie that together. So, now we've got three ropes tied together. Now watch what happens, let's see if you did your homework. If I sprinkle from my left hand, I get the wolf with us, what happens to the ropes? It turns into one rope. That's right, let's see what happens. The knot will come off this end. And the knot comes off this end, and we back to one rope. Thank you very much. Thank you.